This is a pre-op simulation that helped surgeons in Guangzhou resect a massive cranial spinal tumor from a nine-year-old girl. These skull defect repairs provide a critical reconstruction for a soldier following a serious battle injury. They are made possible by 3D bioprinting, which uses cells and biomaterials to replicate natural tissues and other biological parts. Renyu started his company 15 years ago with the hope of making such life-saving technologies more accessible. Due to an aging population, our medical expenses will rise. We need to provide better care at lower costs. For example, bleeding control is very important during brain surgery. But for two decades, key solutions had been monopolized by one American company. We may be one of the first Chinese firms to offer a commercially viable alternative. The company is already selling to more than a thousand hospitals in 80 countries worldwide. Yuan is grateful for government funding to get his startup off the ground, but he believes more can be done to nurture the industry. China is investing heavily in scientific research, but not enough ideas have made it to the market. Our biomedicine supply chain still needs maturing. We lag behind in a certain raw materials, parts and manufacturing expertise. It also takes time to educate engineers. Yuan was able to voice his suggestions directly to President Xi Jinping during the two sessions five years ago. His suggestions, along with others from the Guangdong delegation that year, led to a slew of policy support to bolster innovation in the province. Guangdong is already a well-known manufacturing powerhouse, but in the last five years, the focus has been on strengthening 20 strategic sectors. Biomedicine and healthcare are among the priority industries, targeting an annual output of 1 trillion yuan by 2025. Last month, officials honed in on overall industrial investments, promising to help 9,000 companies with their technological upgrades this year. As small high-tech startups set their sights on global customers, Yuan has another idea. This year, I'd like to propose that new technologies registered in China be recognized by countries in the Belt and Road Initiative. Clearing legal obstacles will help us tremendously in accessing overseas markets. The global 3D bioprinting market is projected to reach $3.3 billion by 2027. Yuan says Chinese firms are already gaining more recognition. Fostering closer ties among researchers, doctors and manufacturers will be key to future breakthroughs.